the Senate has approved the establishment of the National Dialogue Committee and eight member technical team to support it. Senate Majority Leader Aaron Cheriot had urged senators to put their political differences aside and support the motion, stating that the committee is critical to looking at all the issues that both the majority and the minority have submitted for dialogue. The motion was seconded by Minority Leader Stuart Madzayo, who said the dialogue team is critical as it will ensure the country is moving forward united. The National Dialogue Committee is led by National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Shungwa from the Kenya Kwanzaa side and WIPA Leader Kalonzo Musioka from the Azimio side and will recommend appropriate legal and policy reforms on issues affecting Kenyans in line with the constitution and re re uh, respecting functional and institutional integrity of state organs. Mr. Speaker, aware that Article 1 of the Constitution of Kenya provides that all sovereign powers belong to the people of Kenya and shall be exercised only in accordance with the Constitution. Further aware that Article 1-2 of the Constitution provides that the people of Kenya may exercise their sovereign power either directly or through their democratically elected representatives. Conscious that Article 10 of the Constitution espouses the national values and principles of governance which include the rule of law, democracy and participation of the people. Further conscious that Article 94 of the Constitution provides that Parliament manifests the diversity of the nation, represents the will of the people and exercises their sovereignty, recognizing that there is need to embrace